वेलकम बैक टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट अ बैकअप फॉर डी स्पेस इन विंडोज 10 ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन दिस बैकअप टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेंशन अबाउट डी स्पेस बैकअप ऑफ डेटाबेस बैकअप एंड डी स्पेस फोल्डर बैकअप एंड वेब एप्स बैकअप एंड न्यू स्टॉप एंड साइड बार न्यूज बैकअप and uh, i'm i'm suggesting my users take the backup of your um, d space often like maybe weekly once or monthly once like that one when you upload more data over there at the time you should take the backup first i need to take database ba <laughs> backup so for that you just go to postgresql uh, in the start menu and select uh, pg3 and first we need to create one um, folder it is calling as uh, data d space backup it should be in external hard disk uh, uh, for the presentation purpose i'm showing in my pc so just um, log in in the detail in the postgresql uh, my password is library now i enter to d space just right click over here when you want to take backup just click backup over there and what is the file name you want uh, backup you need to create the file name whatever you want i'm uh, creating a dspace new backup 6.3 and here we should select custom there are uh, so many options are like uh, there like a uh, directory like and in the end coding we should select utf8 that is a uh, normal and in the no role name we should select a dspace so this is very important uh, don't um, uh, miss these uh, steps mm, just select this space and encoding udf is quite common you here you may see what are all the files in the backup it is going to store and uh, here okay after that just click uh, again once you examine again what are all the things anything you left or anything and uh, let me check everything is uh, look fine fine here we may say in this backup you will get uh, the file about community collections uh, e person all things you will get over here uh, just I click the backup it is going to backup and it's creating in the desktop of my PC you may see here after maybe 20 second or 30 second they it will create and in this backup we are going we will get database backup especially yeah you may see right now it is executed process if uh, run exit put zero means it is uh, succeeded we got backup so one thing is finished you may see here in the desktop the file has been created just copy and just uh, cut and paste in my uh, maybe in your uh, external hard disk or in that folder this first one thing is has been created especially this backup it is having the information about uh, metadata of uh, uh, like community collections and your um, um, uh, all um, collection information which is over there the next one is we need to take backup about um, uh, news sidebar news and uh, news uh, top those uh, information I need to take backup so that one just go to administrator go to news top go to edit news go to top news just whatever the home page you have customized so many things in the home page especially in my case uh, we have um, we developed some CSS uh, tags those things I need to copy and paste over there so just create one text document or maybe notepad document and rename it as a uh, top news and um, open and uh, paste whole content over here this time I'm going to paste so this one thing is uh, finished I just close it close it down 
next thing is i want to take uh, i want to side i want to create sidebar news uh, backup so just type sidebar news in my case um in the sidebar news um, um, i have uploaded uh, especially visitor count information just copy this information and paste over here this is also things you should not miss okay these two things is happened and the next one is uh, you may see here i need to create one um, if you go to uh, in a c, c drive uh, in the d space there is a folder it's called uh, d space in that one we need to copy uh, main folders main important folders are asset store bin config web apps upload and also where okay these are all the main folders we want uh, especially for the recovery while recovering the data so these data uh, we can take the backup that is also one thing we just copy down and uh, paste in our uh, into your backup folder that is also one thing here if in the assistor you may see here there is some numbering all there these are all the path information given especially where is the collection in which location is available in the upload folder whatever the um, you uploaded the collection it is uh, comes over here and you may see all uploaded content uh, in this folder and also in the web apps folder JSP UI normally it is available like XML UI and uh, OAA and SOLR folders so I suggest my users if you copy old D space folder uh, into your backup folder that is good because if you skip any one folder folder or file over there maybe especially in the recovery process you'll face, um, face so many problems so that reason i'm suggesting my users just copy whole d space folder and paste into your uh, uh, external hard disk or hard drive and next one uh, here uh, i think uh, around i have around 14 gb data um, i have uploaded it will be a quite big file uh, so that reason it may be a take uh, little time so please wait no need to wait so I suggest my users you take the backup uh, at least per month once it is good and also um, uh, if you upload so many contents like if you have upload maybe 1 GB electron um, maybe ebooks or if you upload any one um, any contents like a video or anything at the time also you should take the backup now i'm showing these are all the major folder especially for the recovery these are all the important folders we need so log file also we want so that is so that reason we should not skip anything over here so so it will take time uh next one is yeah i think it is already copied i already copied so around uh, 15 gb data i have stored in my um, in this folder next thing is i suggest my users next one is go to tomcat go to web apps another folders like a jsvi and um, solr xmli oa okay these folder also you should copy and pay um, and take the backup this folder also this is very important because you know in the JSP um, I have done so much of work like um, I inserted a banner uh, into the um, home page of for this space so those things uh, when you take the backup it has to be recovered so that reason you create another folder called the tomcat uh, web apps there you should uh, paste you should copy um, these folders and paste over there so uh, in the recover process also in the process you just copy down these folders and paste in that respective folder that reason you should copy these folders over there just paste over here okay only this much of work i think um, around 
uh, what I'm uh, till now mentioned about first one is we should take the database backup second one is uh, take the news tab and also uh, sidebar news backup and third one is dspace folder backup and fourth one is tomcat web apps um, backup okay these uh, the four things um, four folders we should uh, take the backup um, for the dspace and in this uh, tomcat backup especially jspy xmli SYLR and OAI file. These are all the main folders. We should not forget and we should keep in our mind while taking the backup. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to explain about uh, how to recover whatever you take the backup things from that, how to recover the things. Those things I'm going to explain in the next video. You know, you may see here how all things are uh, done. This one. Mm. I suggest my users please take backup in the external hard disk not in your PC you should don't take or maybe through the network in another PC also you should uh, keep this data very safely and um, it is uh, already done only this much this backup process only these four things you should keep in your mind thank you for watching